In this video today, we're going to talk about light fastness. What is light fastness, you might ask? Light fast means basically the color won't fade, whether it be paint, your shirt, <laughs> colored pencil, markers, anything, artwork. With all these concerns, I want to share with you guys how to protect those things you care about from the sun and how to make art and paint walls so it doesn't fade with time. And there are certain things that you can do to do this. Well, let me tell you a few stories from my own personal life that might help you understand this a little bit. In 2020, we had so many delivery people delivering packages to our house and that's how we survived basically. And I really wanted to put a message out there and say thank you to all of these people. So I was like, I just got these Copic markers. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna color this page. I'm gonna put it in my window. Every time they see it, they're gonna see that I am thankful for them. So I colored this page and everything. And I put it in my window and guess what? I left it up for about a year. It faded like no other. And I was like, why? Why is this picture fading? I thought these markers were so expensive. They were so good and that they would work for anything. And obviously they do not, they're not life fast. And I actually met with them and I said, hey, what's up with your markers? And I didn't really get an answer. But if a company does not advertise fade resistant, that means that they're not going to be fade resistant. That means that you can't put them into direct sunlight, which is exactly what I did with these Copic markers. Another little story, we moved into our house and it looked great when we did the walkthrough, when we were trying to buy it. And then when it, when it came time to move in, she had taken all the pictures off the walls and all of a sudden we had all these squares on our walls. And I was like, oh, interesting. I guess we're gonna have to repaint the entire house, which we did anyway, because it was a lot of different random colors and we wanted to paint it gray. We painted our whole house. We had to, otherwise in the rooms, if we didn't put the picture frames right in the same spot, we would have seen those spots on our walls. The next story is again, painting our house. We painted our house, the exterior of our house, cause it was super, super bad. Like you could see the wood and everything. And we picked out this color, my painter picked out this color. And he picked out the paint and we painted it. And then the year goes by and I try to do touch-ups and guess what? You can totally see where the touch-ups are because the paint had faded and the new paint was this right color and the old paint had faded. What do all these stories have in common? Basically that sometimes paint or markers or other items will fade over time. This happens to clothes too. This happens to toys outside. This happens to furniture, outdoor furniture. Have you ever seen that uh, coupe car that kids drive around all the time and it looks like faint red and it's not as bright as red as it used to be? That's because that car is not light fast. That's what it is. And then there's one other little story. When we moved in, she took the rug off and guess what? The floor was a different color. The floor wasn't even light fast. With all these concerns, I want to share with you guys how to protect those things you care about from the sun and how to make art and paint walls so it doesn't fade with time. And there are certain things that you can do to do this. For one, you can use art materials that are light fast. With colored pencils, a lot of them now are heading in the direction of labeling their light fastness. Prismacolor doesn't always, but I will put it on my website, which ones are light fast ones and which ones are not. Faber Castell puts all their light fast ratings on their colored pencils so you know. So you can even sort your colored pencils to the light fast ones and the non light fast ones. Derwent has a line of only light fast pencils and I'm gonna do a video on all the Derwent soon but my recommendation is just to get the light fast ones. Why? Because I like to put artwork up in my home. And then the next Holbein, they have light fast colored pencils too. They're labeled. They have a set of 150, but if you're going for just the ones that are light fast, I will put those on my website so you know which ones to buy if you're buying those individually. For colored pencils, it's relatively easy. Crayola is not light fast. They don't put any information. So let me tell you this. If a company, like I said, with Copic, does not specify that they're fade resistant, which is another term for light fast. That means they don't test for it, they don't know, they could be light fast, they might be, they might not be. Colored pencils right now, they are generally trending to put that information on the colored pencil. 
So if you pick up a colored pencil and it says it's life fast, it probably is. But it also specifies under museum conditions. What are museum conditions and how can we replicate these museum conditions in our homes? One is very expensive and we actually did this to our home because our windows were bad anyway. You replace the windows with windows that are UV resistant. They don't let as much as that UV light into your home. It can help with heating so it doesn't heat your house as much. Like we had a place in our home like when we sat there and it was the sun was shining right on it. It was super hot. We were baking. We put these new windows in and all of a sudden it was nice to sit there. But most of the time that's not an option to replace all your windows. It's super, super expensive. What you can do is when you're putting art up in your home, if it's a canvas, you might be out of luck because you can't do this as well. You might be able to put like Mod Podge on top. I'll have to check if Mod Podge makes it fade resistant or not. I'm not sure because it still could maybe get under it. It depends how, if it has a UV filter in the Mod Podge, but maybe there's a certain Mod Podge that is if you're doing a canvas print, but you might ruin some of that canvas print by putting something on there. Paints. Check out the paints. The paints that are life fast will have those rated and use those paints. You might pay a little bit more and let me tell you the story of why sometimes it's better to buy the life fast. Remember that story about our house and if you took something off and you moved it to a different part of our house, then there was that square. When we moved in, our painter said, use Benjamin Moore paint. It's fade resistant. <gasps> it's life fast. She didn't say that, but you know, she said fade resistant. I was like, that is great. So what happens basically is when you go to do a touch up, you paint it and then it dries the same color. And I can't tell you how many times I have done this. When we moved into our house, I was pregnant. So we hired a painter, but now I'm the painter and I go through and I do touch ups all the time. If there's a mark on the wall, and I have a video about that, about marks on the wall and how to get them off. If I have to sand it down because the mark's not coming off, I just paint over it. And you can't even tell there was a mark there. If you get some mold and you have to cut it out, put sheetrock back on, if you have to do some repairs to your house, you just take it out, put everything back on, paint it again, and you can't even tell if you use a fade resistant paint. On the outside of our house, we did not use uh, paint that was fade resistant. Like I said, our painter picked it out. I didn't have any say. I didn't even think about using a light fast paint on the outside of our house, which I should have because it's very expensive to paint our house. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should have done that. So next time our house gets painted, you better bet I will be looking for a light fast paint because if I need to make touch ups later, then it'll be a lot easier and it won't be as noticeable. And I won't have to paint the entire side of my house and spend lots of money to have someone do that for me. Let's talk about artwork. Other than using paints that are light fast, you can, if you're framing it, you can get glass that will be UV resistant and that will help. If you're purchasing artwork from an artist, ask the two questions. Are the materials you use light fast? If they don't know, have them tell you which materials they use and then you can research it. If they won't tell you, I don't know, maybe really weigh your options and see if you should buy it. The second thing they might try to say, well, I don't know about my paints or my colored pencils or my markers, but they might say they use a glass. Ask if that glass is UV resistant because if that glass is not, it's just gonna let it in and it actually might make it worse. So you really wanna make sure those two items when you're buying artwork and even when you're putting up your own artwork, even if you've used like fast products, use UV resistant glass, and then you'll be assured that hopefully your artwork will stay nice for years to come and your kids can enjoy it and everyone can enjoy it for years later. Let's talk about markers. We talked about pencils. We're gonna talk about, and paint a little bit, but we're gonna talk about markers. Markers are very interesting. So I found out that Copic are dye based. That's a big indicator. If it says the word dye, that it's not light fast and that it will probably fade over time. If they use the word pigment based, that means it probably won't fade over the time. I'm not gonna say it's 100% sure, but it probably won't. So the two examples I have are from Kareem. They have a water-based one, which is dye-based, and they have a pigment-based one. The pigment-based one is more likely to be light fast. So if you do lettering and you wanna put it up in your home, 
use the pigment based markers. I think Tombow are dye based, so I would not use Tombow lettering in my home, even the alcohol ones are not. So it's that's a very good thing to look for when you're looking for markers, even fine liners, like black fine liners. I found out some are water based, dye based, some are pigment based and will last forever. That's also a very important consideration when you're drawing or making projects. So because of this, we're gonna do a test. I'm gonna test all the markers I own and see which ones are light fast and which ones are not. And that way we can see which markers to use if you wanna do marker drawings in your home. Cause I love doing marker drawings and I love using markers with colored pencils. But here's the thing, if I did a drawing or a coloring page with markers and I use light fast pencils and then over time the marker fades you would really be able to notice it and you'd be like whoa what happened there we're gonna be testing these markers and I'm gonna look at them one week two week three week four week five week and I will do a video about it as soon as I get some significant results and I start to see these results I might do like two videos if I see like 30% have faded and then like six months later like all of them or maybe all but two have faded you guys will really be able to tell which markers that you can get to be able to put artwork up in your home even clothing or bedding can fade over time i don't know if there's an easy way to tell sometimes with bedding or clothes because there's so many different manufacturers but we have a blanket that faded over time so if you're looking for fabric maybe look for fabric that says fade resistant on it and that way you will know that you are using something that's fade resistant. Sometimes life fast supplies, paint, etc., can cost a little bit more, but because we use that fade resistant paint or light fast paint in our house, it has saved me thousands of dollars because then I don't have to hire someone. It saved me tons of time because then I don't have to repaint a whole house. I can just repaint that little section and I don't even have to worry about painting the whole wall. I don't have to spend more money on paint. So in the long run, I'm actually saving money and you'll be saving your artwork. You'll be saving your house. You'll be saving your clothes whenever you decide to invest in life fast products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something about Life Fast. Let me know what you are gonna decide to invest in that's Life Fast. Do you like colored pencils, markers, paint for your house, clothing? What do you care about that you don't want it to fade over time? And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and think about leaving a tip. It's a new feature that YouTube has recently introduced is called the super thanks just hit that thanks button and you can choose any amount that you want us creators super appreciate it because it takes time to create these videos and all the support is greatly appreciated hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you the next video